Photoshop is a layer-centric software in that everything you do revolves around working with layers, therefore it's an important concept that needs to be understood before going any further. You can enable or disable the layer panel by pressing F7 and in this panel you'll be able to find layers and folders. When you created a new document in the last lecture, you would have noticed a default background layer, which is the white you see on the canvas. The background is always locked, but if you want to make it editable, double click it and hit OK. The layer has been renamed to layer 0 and you're able to work freely on this layer. Let's go ahead and draw a few things. Select the brush tool or press B. On the toolbar are two colors, foreground and background color. Click on foreground color and select any shade of yellow. Click on the background color and select any shade of blue. I'll draw a sun, but you can draw anything you like. If you look to the layers panel, you'll notice a thumbnail showing the contents of this layer. To create a new layer, click the new layer button at the bottom of the layers panel. I'm going to draw a cloud, but first I'm going to switch the color by pressing X. Pressing X will switch between foreground and background colors. When using a tool that involves color, the foreground color is usually the color that will be used. I'll draw a cloud, but you can draw whatever you'd like. That's looking okay, but ideally I'd like to have more than one cloud, so let's duplicate the cloud layer. To duplicate a layer, click and drag a layer, then drop it on the new layer button. Switch back to the move tool or press V, and while making sure the second cloud layer is selected, move it into place. I'm going to duplicate the cloud once more, but this time I'm going to press Ctrl J. Again, move the third cloud into place. Another way to duplicate a layer is to first make sure you have the layer you'd like to duplicate selected, then alt drag the object. As you can see, the layer has been duplicated. I'll do this one more time until I have five clouds, then I'll move each one into place. To delete a layer, simply drag and drop it to the rubbish bin on the bottom of the layers panel, or you can just press delete on your keyboard. We can group layers into folders to keep everything nice and tidy. To create a folder, click on the Create a New Group button. Double click on its name to change it, enter something descriptive, then hit Enter. Now we can select all relevant layers and drag it into the new folder. To select multiple layers, hold down Ctrl while clicking on the layer name. Alternatively, you can select the first layer, hold down Shift, and click on the last layer you'd like to include. The arrow on the left of the folder will allow you to expand or minimize it. To group layers together, you can also select all layers you'd like to include and hit Ctrl G. Layers you selected will now be placed within a new folder. Open the lecture material working with layers.psd and look to your layers panel on the bottom right. On the canvas we see a single picture, but in the layers panel you'll notice the single picture you see is actually a combination of multiple elements. For example, if we expand the center group, you'll notice center is a combination of different layers, for example the rope in hand, hat, face, etc. To hide a layer, click on the eye to the left of the layer. You can hide multiple layers at once by clicking and dragging on the eye. You can also solo a layer. Soloing a layer means you're hiding everything except the selected layer. To do so, hold down Alt and click on the eye. To reveal all layers, Alt click the eye again. When working with layers, it's important to keep track of which layer you're working on. The active layer will always be highlighted. Layers also work on a hierarchy system, meaning the visibility of layers is dependent on how they are stacked. For example, the moon layer is placed within the effects group. If I move the FX group on top of the reindeer group, the moon is now hiding the reindeer. There are other buttons on the panel, but we won't worry about them until later. Expand the FX group and select the moon layer. This layer contains a circular shape with a stroke. We'll be talking more about shapes in a later lecture. On the top right are opacity and fill. The difference between these two is if we turn opacity down, the whole moon disappears. However, if we turn fill down, only the white color fill will disappear. The stroke is still present. If you're using Photoshop CS6, you have a layer search and filter function at the top of this panel. At the moment, it's set to kind, which you can refine by clicking these buttons on the right to filter by pixel layers, adjustment layers, text layers, and more. You can change the method to name in order to search for layers by its name. So if I type in moon, 
all layers containing this keyword will show. You can enable or disable this feature by clicking on the button to the right. You also have the option to lock layers so you don't move it accidentally. Select a layer you'd like to lock, then click on the lock all icon. Now when you try to move it, an error dialog will appear. The lock position button will lock an object in place, but you can still make changes to it, as opposed to the lock all button, which locks the position as well as blocking any changes. The biggest advantage with using layers when working in Photoshop is the ability to do non-destructive editing. For example, if I'm not happy with how the reindeer looks, I can erase it and redraw it. When I erase it, only the reindeer disappears, the moon and ropes are still intact. If I had everything on one layer, when I erase the reindeer, the moon and ropes will also be erased. Say if you want to add something to the sleigh. If you just start working on the layer, but then later on decide you don't want to make changes anymore, you can't just erase it because if you do, you'll also erase the actual sleigh. By composing different elements on the same layer, you're doing destructive editing. Again, a better way would be to create a new layer and start working from there. Later on, if you decide you don't like the changes, simply delete the layer and the sleigh will still be intact. This wraps up working with layers. See you soon.